Okay, in this video, we're going to do a few things. We're going to learn how to pack the aliens a little bit tighter up in the sky. Uh, we're going to have them bounce off the wall and move down, kind of heading towards the hero, so the game gets a little bit more challenging. Um, and if we have time, we'll also make it hit the hero and, uh, and have the hero go to lose world if that happens. So uh, let's start by going to level one and we're going to alter the way these are laid out. I want to close the gap between the aliens and pack them a little bit tighter and maybe move them over a little bit as well. So to do that, I'm going to go in here and just to have good programming practice, I'm going to say int um, x start pose, meaning x start position, and let's make that, uh, let's try 100, and that's going to be the horizontal starting position for the aliens, so I'm going to put it there, and then 75 is kind of the gap between the aliens, and so I'm going to make another variable called x alien gap and if you're wondering why i'm putting x there it indicates it's horizontal if it was vertical it would be y and so i want the gap to be 50 times x as we go through that loop so let's see what that looks like oh, that looks pretty good actually um, we could move it over maybe a little bit more to have it centered um, but overall we'll give it one more shot and then we'll move forward so Let's try 100, oops, 150, and yeah, not bad. I lied. I said I was going to do one more. 125, let's split the difference. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, so now if I run this, this is what we have right now. And so the alien's just bouncing back and forth. For, let's slow them down, because in Space Invaders, the aliens do move quite a bit slower. So we're going to go to Alien. And we're going to change the x move value to 1. And that's as slow as the alien can go. Um, and that will result in this change, which is fine for now. That's what we want. Um, Space Invaders, at least the first level, is supposed to be kind of easy. So it's OK to have the aliens moving slowly. Um, now what we want to do, though, is every time the alien hits the wall, we want the alien to move down the screen. We haven't addressed that part yet. So in alien, this is where the behavior is, where the, beh the alien moves down. We can see right here we have code that says, we might as well do some commenting as we go, move the alien horizont, horizont, <laughs> oh goodness, horizontally. And then here, if it hits the wall, make it bounce. But if it hits the wall, the other thing that we want to do with the alien is we want to alter its Y coordinate as well. So here we have code that moves the alien horizontally. What I would like to do is set the location of the alien, but don't change the X coordinate. We want to move it down the screen. Let's say, well, why don't we make a Y move, int Y move. It's done. There we go. So the Y move value is going to be whatever the alien moves down the screen by when it hits the wall. So this line says, if the alien hits the wall, make it bounce horizontally and move down the screen by Y move. So if we've done this right, what should happen is the alien should move over. It's still going to bounce back, but you should see it move down the screen and then bounce back. Let's try it. There we go. So we have that effect where it's starting to come down the screen. I would say it's probably not enough. So maybe I want to change that Y move to 10. And run it again. Maybe still not quite enough. Let's try 20. Eh, we'll go 25. Okay, and now we should see more dramatic 
There we go. Now the aliens are starting to come down the screen towards the hero. Okay, looks good. Now, um, if the alien hits the hero, we want the hero to go to lose world. I know that we have lives, but basically if the alien makes it all the way down the screen, you're, you're euchred. That's, that's a game over. At least that's the way we're going to make it right now. So, um, we go to either the alien or the hero. So if we go to the alien, basically we would put code in here that says, okay, if the alien collides with the hero, we're going to make them go to, lo to lose world. But I, I think it would work in either place. Uh, my tendency is more to put it in the act method of the hero. And this is where we want to do collision detection again. We want to know if one thing gets hit by another. And I know I've done that already in the bullet. So maybe what I'll do is I'll go here and I'll get some code that has to do with collision detection. And that way I don't have to write it all from scratch again. So here I had code that says if we hit an enemy. So this means if we hit an alien. And this is actually exactly what I'm looking for. That was a fluke. But this is the hero. And the hero is saying, hey, if I hit an alien, so if I intersect with an alien, well, that means... I lose. And so right here, I would say uh, greenfoot dot set world new lose world. And so that right there simply says, okay, did, and this is on every act cycle, um, did the hero intersect with an alien? If it did, then we go to lose world. So we want to check this out. The problem is we're going to have to wait for the aliens to come all the way down the screen. So here's a little hack that we can use to check it out. Um, let's take the hero and just move it up a little further. Okay, and maybe over here too. So, And now we'll run it and see what happens. Perfect. So it worked. We added the collision detection code here that says if we hit if the hero really it should be gets hit by an enemy then we go to lose world and we could do other things there too if maybe then maybe later we'll decide that's too harsh of a penalty maybe if the hero hits the um, or sorry, if the aliens hit the hero, maybe they get reset back up to... We can do whatever we want. But for now, we'll just make it go to lose world if we get that far. So, we have aliens bouncing down the screen. So, we can fire at them. It's looking good. So, we're getting really close. Um, later, we're going to add some animation where... The aliens are going to actually change their picture as they move down the screen and we're going to learn how to give each alien their own score but for now we're uh, we're looking better and better